What's going on everybody? Marvel Cross 316 back with another comic book flashback. Today we are looking at Ultimate Spider-Man issue number 38 and today's title is Father's Pride and we're continuing the storyline with Venom. We know that last issue basically we had uh, Venom coming and visiting Peter Parker's school and now we're going to look at the final confrontation here. And so... We know what's going on pretty much. There's an electrical storm going on, and we basically see that Peter barely escaped the suit's control and electrical storm. He ends up defeated mentally and physically, laying at his father's grave. And then Peter goes back to the lab to steal the venom mixture and destroy it, but Eddie catches him in the act, and that's really the reason why Eddie is so mad at Peter Parker's, because... Peter basically destroyed one half of the Venom suit, and Eddie has the other half of the Venom suit. And so before we get started, let's go ahead and give credit where credit is due. This issue is brought to you by Brian Michael Bendis, who wrote this issue. We have Mark Bagley on the penciling, Art Liber on the inking, Chris Elopoulos lettering page, Stephanie Moore assisted, assistant editor, C.B. Sabolsky associate editor, along with Brian Smith. Ralph McKayo, editor, Joe Casteta, editor-in-chief, and Bill Jamas, president and inspiration. And so we begin the issue off, and we actually have basically a recording of Peter Parker's dad, and this is basically the events that takes place after this battle that takes place between Venom and Peter Parker. Basically, it's a recording about how Egypt was basically the first place that recorded the scene of cancer back in 1600 BC. We had always thought that cancer was relatively new, but in fact it's always been something that people have been plagued by. And we basically learn in this issue that Peter Parker's dad, as a child, witnessed the death of his father as Peter Parker's dad, Richard Parker, died of basically his dad died of cancer he had to watch this as a kid and this is what drove Peter Parker's dad Richard Parker to create the Venom suit he wanted to make an absolute miracle happen with this suit but I mean we see here that with our invention the suit we were treading ground no one had ever come near before not Reed Richards, not Tony Stark, not William Marsden, not Alexander Haddo. And it blew up in our face here. And now, as we see, Eddie Brock now has the suit in his grasp. He is now basically controlled by it at this point. And now Peter Parker basically has the biggest fight on his hands that he's ever had. Next to the Green Goblin, Venom is most likely the deadliest villain Peter has gone up against so far and he basically says Eddie please tell me you didn't do this to yourself on purpose and we see that he's not going to listen to reason Venom suit here in this ultimate universe is even more deadly than the original Venom he has like these spikes on his symbiote suit so it makes him extra deadly here and so Peter Parker is going to have to be on his A game here as he uses his spider-like reflexes to dodge um, from basically being hit by the Venom suit here. Um, I mean, this, this Venom here is just absolutely a savage today. And we just see that he's going to continue to talk with Eddie, try to reason with Eddie by saying, Listen to me, Eddie. You're smarter than this. This isn't you. It's the suit. I've been behind it. I know what it's doing to you. Let me help you before you do something you're going to regret. And then Eddie screams out, Our fathers died to create me, and now you will too. And then Peter says, Yeah, you said that already. And then Venom just launches himself right at Peter. Peter's going to dodge. But then um, we see that the Venom suit just follows wherever Peter is at. And he's like, Eddie, stop or I'll, or stop it or you'll, ah! And all of a sudden, <laughs> I guess Peter's professor still did not notice he left the class. And so that's pretty funny. But when we see that the Venom, I mean, he is just basically, 
I mean, grounding Peter's face right into the ground here. I mean, he is just eating this up, basically. No pun intended. And, I mean, he's basically toying with Peter Parker at this point. Peter's crying out in pain. He said, Eddie, snap out of it. Come on, you're in there. Snap out of it. Fight it. I don't want to slap you one. He said, Eddie, you don't know how strong I am. Seriously. Eddie, fight this thing. Come on, I did it. You can too. You can fight it. And then we see that he begins to cry out in pain. Venom cries out in pain. It's because Eddie is now being consumed in this Venom symbiote here. And the longer that he has the Venom symbiote on himself, the harder it will be for Eddie to get out of the symbiote suit. And so we see um, Peter Parker is like, he has no idea what to do. And he continues to try, but it's not helping. Venom then looks at Peter Parker. Peter Parker snaps, and he's like, All right, that's enough. That's it. And he basically is going to go on a bit of a goose chase here. Venom is going to follow close behind. And he mimics Spider-Man in every way. I mean, he can actually use his um, symbiote suit to swing from his webs. He said, like, God, look at him. Look at that. Eddie isn't in control of that. It's just imitating anything I do. What? Does it have a biological memory, or is it just feeding off Eddie's brain, or both, or what? And so we see that Eddie, as Venom, is going to continue to go after Peter Parker, and they're now going to fall right into the streets here. And just a lot of action taking place here. They're going to fall right on top of this electrical wire again. That This actually helps Peter Parker in the long run. But there's innocent people now at stake here. As Venom is right on top of this car, this person basically crashes into the building. And then we see that hurt Venom for a little bit. And we see Eddie says, Peter... He said, Eddie, come on, man, come on. But we see that Eddie was just playing possum, and then he transitions back to Venom here, and he's going to then try to consume Peter Parker in this symbiote suit, and for a time he does, but Peter is going to then escape the symbiote suit, pulling himself out. He gets sucked right back in again. Then he immediately gets out of it this time. He's pretty much the only person that's able to do this, and so he's like, no! And he, he falls to the ground. Venom says, needs you, needs you. You hear me, Park? And then he's like, oh. And Peter hits him with a tire. And then all of a sudden hits him one more time, hitting him again. Um, right, in, And he lands right into those electrical wires. The police show up this time. And Venom says, you lied to me. And he said, okay, duly noted. The police say, lie on the ground with your hands over your head. Both of you, on the ground now. And then Peter says, just hold on a second. Listen, this is... And then they said, the hell is that? And they start firing at Venom here. Um, a bunch of shots are going out, but it doesn't seem to affect Venom at all. As Venom um, just screams out, and he's just... They're continuing to fire at him. More shots are being taken place. Venom steps on that wire again, and it basically electrocutes him to the point uh, where Venom, the whole suit, just disintegrates with Eddie with it. We don't know exactly what happens if Eddie survived or not, but what we do know is that Venom is down for the count so far, and so that's the last we'll see of Venom so far, and Peter Parker escapes the scene by actually evading these gunshots, and this is where we end the scene here, this this comic, basically, with Peter Parker weeping in his basement. And so what we have to worry about now is, is Venom toast? Is he dead? Is Eddie Brock dead? We don't know for certain. We're going to have to find all this out in issue number 39. So we got a great thing going here, y'all. So let's go ahead now and give this video a like. Comment down below what you liked about this issue. Subscribe if you have not so you can see more videos just like this. And I will see y'all in the next one.